You found it. Your home for the best content on your favorite team, the Fighting Tigers of LSU. Do us a favor, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. Be sure to smash that like button. This tweet from uh, Steve Wiltfong at uh, 247 Sports got a lot of LSU fans excited uh, earlier today. Uh, Steve Wiltfong tweeted, five-star quarterback Arch Manning is not down to two schools. In fact, there are two more programs emerging on the list for the Newman passer. And uh, Wiltfong has his story link there where he mentions the two new programs are, in fact, Florida and your Fighting Tigers of LSU. Uh, it was thought that, and it has been thought for a long time, Texas, Alabama, Clemson are the leaders for Arch Manning. Well, according to Cooper, Arch's dad, had a conversation with 247 Sports, Steve Wiltfong, and he said, look, the, the report that Arch was down to his final two is not true. In fact, the list has grown. Florida, having hired Billy Napier, of course, with ties not only to Alabama, but in Louisiana with, with being at ULL. And he mentioned LSU because of regime change with Brian Kelly coming down. Before I go any further, I want to be just super candid, like completely transparent. I have no firsthand knowledge. I have not talked to Arch Manning. I have not talked to Cooper Manning. I have not talked to anybody in the Manning family. So I am not coming from a, a spot where I can tell you I'm giving you firsthand knowledge. Okay, What I have done is talk to a lot of people that cover recruiting at all of these different schools. People that kind of have a finger on the pulse close to the Mannings, certainly at LSU, at Texas, at Ole Miss, at Bama. And the general feeling... Today is that if Arch Manning had to pick a school today, he'd pick Texas. That's the general feeling. Texas, Bama, Clemson have kind of been the schools that have been the front runners. That that's kind of been the core, and Ole Miss almost out of obligation because, of course, Cooper went to Ole Miss, and so did Eli and Archie, and you you understand the tie there. But that's why it's. But it's also been expressed to me from a lot of people at Ole Miss that as long as Lane Kiffin is the coach at Ole Miss, Arch Manning's not going there. I, I, I can't really elaborate much more. I don't have it, anything I would be telling you would be hearsay, but essentially there are some things internally there where the family isn't super keen on the idea of Arch playing for Lane Kiffin. That's essentially how it was expressed to me. Lane Kiffin desperately needs to get Arch to satisfy Ole Miss fans, but he's not going to get Arch. Like he's, Arch isn't going to Ole Miss as long as Lane Kiffin's there. Again, that's what's been expressed to me from people that cover Ole Miss. Okay. Cooper Manning did say that Clemson is the only program that Arch has visited that's off the list. Clemson's no longer being considered. So that basically leaves Alabama, as we mentioned, Texas, Ole Miss, Georgia is in the mix, and then the two we mentioned that have been added, LSU, Florida. So it's not down to the final two of Texas, Alabama. It's actually six that are being considered right now. You all understand, right? Arch Manning, the number one prospect for the class of 2023, last year threw for 2,000 yards and 26 touchdowns for his career as a three-year starter, 6,300 passing yards, 81 touchdowns. The guy didn't even play the senior year yet. It's incredible. I mean, it's just incredible. We understand what type of generational, transcendent prospect this this kid is. It's a lot of pressure, but the Mannings I live with that when that's your last name. You sort of understand that that just goes with the fair or unfair. It just kind of goes with, with the territory. Um, I will tell you this, which is interesting. While all this has gone on with Arch Manning and, and the recruitment, which is, I mean, obviously lasted three years already, as everyone has known that this was going to be a, a very important, impactful recruiting process. There were two other schools that I was told from people who have followed this recruitment very closely. Two other schools that were interesting. Maybe not schools that he was going to pick, 
but that were intriguing him. One was the University of Virginia. And Arch's sister apparently attends UVA or attended, I don't know if she's graduated, but attends UVA or attended UVA, and they love Charlottesville, love the school. Now, Bronco Mendenhall is no longer there. They just had a regime change there, and it's unlikely that he would end up there, but they're intrigued by it, right? Because family ties, all that stuff. The other was Notre Dame. And there's a very obvious correlation here to why LSU might now be a bit in the mix with Brian Kelly leaving Notre Dame and coming to LSU. Whether that's a commentary on... Ed Ogeron, what, whatever, I don't know, okay? And LSU produced a Heisman winner in Joe Burrow. Different offensive system. You just had your two-year starter transfer to a division rival. All that stuff. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that you could look at that make you go, hmm, with all this stuff. But the correlation, again, according to Cooper Manning, is regime change at LSU has put LSU in the mix for Arch. Brian Kelly went and visited Arch Manning, uh, after he got the LSU job, and apparently LSU is going to get Arch on campus in either the spring or the summer, which is great news. If you're LSU and you have a hat at the table, that's fantastic news. I, I want to be very clear. I don't think LSU is going to get Arch Manning. Okay, It's not me being a Debbie Downer. It's not me being a poo-poo or all that stuff. You just have a tremendous amount of ground to make up, and there's no differentiator that says, this is why they should pick you. you got a new coach. You've fallen on hard times the last two years. You don't know what the offense really is going to look like with Brian Kelly and Den Brock. Um, you just signed Walker Howard. Not that Arch would shy away from competition or anything like that, but there's probably more opportunity with coaches he has a longer standing relationship with at Alabama and at Texas. It's also fair to note that one thing that you can never negative recruit Alabama is you don't know how long Nick Saban's going to be there. I mean, is Nick Saban going to coach five more years? If not, then if Arch picks Bama, he's going to pick a school that's going to have a new head coach at some point. I mean, Steve Sarkeesian had a pretty bumpy first year at Texas this year, to say the very least. So there, there's reason to, to believe if you're LSU, if you're Brian Kelly, if you show improvement this year and you have a, a, an open opportunity to, for Arch to step in and play early or win a job or something, like it certainly can be attractive. There are things you can sell, but... If nothing else, you've you've got a hat at the table now. Maybe it's proximity to family. Like maybe that's the differentiator. Maybe that's your your selling point. Is you could say, look, you're an hour from your family. Blaze your own trail the way Peyton did at Tennessee. No one else has come to LSU in your family. Come on, look at the guys from Newman. And obviously, they just signed Bordelon, the offensive lineman. I mean, they're 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 trying to make ways to. To, to set roots there with with Arch to, to maybe make this happen. And you've made progress. The fact that you have a hat at the table now shows progress. The fact you're going to get the kid on campus for a visit shows progress. And you're in it. And if you're in it, you got an opportunity. Um, we'll see where it goes. But there's a lot of people here excited because for the first time in this entire recruitment, it feels like LSU, not feels like it, they are. It's the first time in this recruitment that they're actually being mentioned as a legit possibility to land the number one player, not only in Louisiana, but in the entire country for 2023 at the most important position on the field, a transcendent talent that we've talked about now for three years or four years. So Arch Manning, according to his dad, Cooper, is now considering Florida and LSU because of their regime change recently. We, of course, will keep you posted. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.